exploded and burnt out of connection. Gordon. Hello, Zarkov. Your contra thermal is a success, sir. We've extinguished the projectile. Let us know where any more of the projectiles fall. It works perfectly. We still have two more units. That's splendid, Flash. Two more projectiles have fallen. The locations are two. The connection's gone. Zarkov! Your Highness, a Ming bomber is over the ballast. The crows will take care of it. They've been warned. I'll have this repaired in a moment, Your Highness. That bomber doesn't score another bullseye. You made a direct hit zone, close to the wall of the laboratory. I can see the flash when the bomb struck. There's one of our own ships coming. Two more coming in from above. Surroundings. Zarkov speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead, Doctor. One of Ming's ships have bombed us. The patrols have driven it off. Good. Now tell us where those projectiles have fallen. One of the projectiles fell about 30 miles west of... We're going to crash. I want to make it look like a crash so they won't follow us down. They clear hit, Brad. The last shot finished them. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Enemy ship met and destroyed. That is all. Tom, get our location. This is the palace of the Emperor. This is Captain Torch speaking from Avoria. This is of vital importance. Wait, Captain Torch. Inform His Majesty that Captain Torch is calling from Arboria. My plan is failing. Projectiles are being extinguished as soon as they strike. Your Majesty must remember that Dr. Zarko is a Prince Baron. The doctor is a clever man. He may have discovered some means of defense against The counteracting force is known only to myself. A new cause, 
You knew when you were alone in my laboratory with Dr. Zarkov before he escaped. If you have dared betrayed any of my secrets to him, I'll... Captain Torch is calling from Arborea, Your Majesty. Get Arborea. Yes, sir. Prince Baron's power plant. We were attacked and forced to land. You have failed. Sarkov is extinguishing our projectiles as fast as they land. But Your Majesty, we dropped the bombs direct. Get into Prince Baron's castle by any way that you can devise. Learn what the plans are and report to me. The lives of all of you are staked upon this venture. There's no need of all of us going. The ship has to be repaired before we can make our escape. That's right. I can repair the damage while you go to the castle. this instrument would be effective in an attack upon me? Unquestionably. The difficulty is that in launching its neutralizing cartridge, the gun destroys itself. And the explosion releases a poisonous gas that would destroy all life over a wide area. Oh, but of course. It would have to be operated by a fuse. Well, if the gun will do what you claim for it, we'll overcome the objection. How bad? There's a desolate stretch of uninhabited land to the west of Ming's capital called the Land of the Dead, to which we might transport the gun and direct it upon the castle. Your Highness's pardon. But would not such a course endanger the life of the Princess Aura? Thanks for considering the safety of the Princess Rokov, but she's not in immediate danger. Sarkov's instrument, as he explained it, has a powerful magnetic action designed to paralyze Ming's power plant so as to render his ships and guns useless. Quiet! Quiet! I just caught part of a message from Ming on this short wave set. From Ming? Well, I'm sure it was the voice of Ming, but I caught only a few words. He said, the lives of all of you were staked upon this venture. I waited, but he said nothing more. Do you think it means that we're to be attacked? She is there. He'll know you. Of course, but I can hold his attention for a moment. All right. Keep his back to me. It's necessary that I have audience with Prince Baron at once. I will explain everything to his highness. Let me... You go with my prisoner? Yes, the prince will see you. If I am not mistaken, he'll have you hanged from the highest turret for the abduction of Princess Zora. Wait. If Ming is planning an attack, our best defense is to beat him to the punch. If we can place the neutralizer in the land of the dead now, at once. Ming must be keeping a strict guard over Aura, or she would have communicated with us before now. I'll have a ship made ready for the journey. There's something about this gun destroying itself that I don't understand. The Emperor will be unable to put his spaceships into the air, nor to maintain contact with those already there. His water supply will be in danger. Hold your hands! Both of you! What does this mean? You shall be reported. Just a moment, Professor. This is Captain Torch. You have good eyes, Roker. Now stand aside while I destroy that deadly machine. No, no, you shall not destroy it. Suit yourself. You first, and then the machine. Your Highness wishes to see me? will not stand on ceremony, Father. I demand my instant release and return to Prince Baron's domain. Since Baron entertains my enemies, the Earthmen, he too becomes my enemy and you a hostage. Unless you release me at once, Father. Flash Gordon and Dr. Zarkov will return here and pull you from your throne as they did once before. As they did once before. Yet I still survive, still rule the universe while they... Yes, while they... ...are at this moment headed for certain destruction and a trap that I have prepared for them. The audience is at an end, Your Highness. Flash, we're not endangering all of by turning this machine against Ming's palace, are we? Oh, I know, Dale. You see, its purpose is to generate a magnetic influence that will paralyze Ming's power plants and weapons of defense, making it impossible for him to defend himself against an attack. What, what will happen to us in this land of the dead that we're heading for? I've never been there, but I heard tales that at one time it was inhabited by a race of rockmen that long ago passed into oblivion. Look! A big ship! 
Hit him with a stern rocket gun. Quickly. I think we can beat them off. No, Flash. We dare not risk being hit. The fate of our boar is in our hands. We'll go into our disappearing screen. Make a long circuit. Approaching the land of the dead from the other side. They're gone, sir. One of Zarkov's disappearing acts again. Take the controls, Tom. Captain Torch calling Emperor Ming. Captain Torch calling Emperor Ming. All right, Torch. You know their destination. Your speed ship will get you to the land of the dead before them. When they come, destroy their ship. Plant your plastic mine in the vicinity of giant Dome Rock. It is the only place that Zarkov can direct his new weapon at my palace. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Set it down on one of those narrow cuts where we will not be visible when Baron's ship arrives. We've got enough sin tonight there to shatter a continent. We've got to lay this mine and be well under the air before Prince Baron's expedition arrives. Better place a guard to warn us in case they get here before we're ready to clear out. I'll watch for their ship from that ledge. Yes. One of Ming's latest developments. When the ray reaches number five, the blast goes off. Zarkov's military arms uses. All right, men. Cover it up. That's enough. We'll find Sonia and get to the ship. Devils are these. Not as bad as the one we planted. Get us out of here quick. We'll all be blown out of here. 
far from the ship, and there are plenty of caves to take shelter in. We won't have any trouble getting our equipment in here. Now they might find a timer and stop the explosion. Rick! 